Mount Cayley is one stunning mountain to look at. Sharp, jagged pinnacles pierce into the sky like a frozen shriek of volcanic rock. The peaks that compose this mountain also have unique mythological names like Pyroclastic, Wizard, and Vulcan's Thumb. Vulcan is the Roman god of fire, volcanoes, and metalwork. I wanted to make a video about Mount Cayley because its eruptive history, geology, and geothermal potential is fascinating, besides its sinister appearance. It looks like it could easily have stood in for Mordor and Mount Doom in the Lord of the Rings. I visited the area this summer to get a closer look and document these shots. It meant a difficult bushwhack up from the nearest FSR to the Alpine. Cayley is part of the Garibaldi Volcanic Belt, an extension of the Cascade Volcanic Arc which includes Mount Meager to the north and Garibaldi to the south. This belt makes a line of volcanic formations and lava domes including Mount Fee seen here. Cayley's eruptive history started approximately 4 million years ago and sporadically has been active until about 200,000 years ago. But, low level activity has continued to the present. At least four seismic events have happened at Cayley since 1985, and more evidence of magmatic activity is displayed by hot springs on the lower flanks of the mountain. Because of this, the Geological Survey of Canada considers the stratovolcano to be potentially active. I saw monitoring equipment on the mountain as underground activity is being recorded and to detect any increase of seismicity. The area has huge geothermal potential which is still being researched currently. In BC, six geothermal sites have been identified as most capable for commercial development and Cayley is one of those. Of the countries bordering on the Pacific Ring of Fire, Canada is the only one to not produce energy from geothermal. Natural Resources Canada has done seismic imaging finding a pool of molten rock approximately 15 kilometers below the surface, which is 3 kilometers long and 1 kilometer wide. I've just searched up Turbid Creek for the hot spring but I was unsuccessful unfortunately. I went up as high as I could until I ran into a very steep uh, gully, kind of like a, a gorge almost with a waterfall and uh, very steep. Kaylee is right above me, super, super steep. I'm a bit bummed because I thought I could find this warm spring, but this time I was unsuccessful, I guess. Uh, if I want to find it, I'll have to come back. I really wanted to document the uh, hot spring here to put it in the video, but uh, <laughs> very few people have ever been here or ever seen this hot spring in person.
If Mount Cayley ever did erupt, the effect on neighboring communities like Whistler, Squamish, and Pemberton would be massive. An ash plume from an explosive eruption could reach 20 kilometers in height and potentially continue for 12 hours. Airports in Vancouver, Prince George, Kamloops, Victoria, and even Seattle, Washington would have to close because of the spreading ash. Power lines, the electrical grid, and communication equipment would be affected. Depending on the wind, the eruption plume could spread as far as Anchorage, Alaska, and into Alberta and the prairies. So, so many people on the west coast would be affected. The heat would melt ice and snow on Cayley, resulting in debris flows in Lahar, snaking down the drainages and valleys, possibly reaching Squamish and wiping out everything in their path. Pretty wild stuff. Minor eruptive activity could continue for years and would colossally change the surrounding landscape. Debris avalanches have already happened. One in June 1984 collapsed at the head of Avalanche Creek. It tumbled all the way down to the Squamish River, partially blocking it, introducing massive quantities of sediment and destroying a logging road bridge. Again, another debris avalanche happened in June 2014 that damaged part of the Squamish FSR. Cayley's true summit has only been climbed by a handful of brave and daring people. Apparently, the Vulcan's Thumb has never been climbed, for reasons I believe are self-evident. It was named after the first ascent in 1928 for Beverly Cochran Cayley, who was a friend and mountaineer of the climbing party who passed away in June 1928. His obituary in the BC Mountaineering Club newsletter reads, Possessed with the true spirit of the mountaineer, Bev was one whose genial personality made him a great circle of friends who held him in high in their esteem. Mount Cayley, along with Black Tusk, is considered sacred to the Squamish people. It will be interesting to see what happens at Cayley in the future, and if the geothermal energy gets tapped into. Geologist Steve Grasby has said, In terms of temperature, it's a world-class resource. Whatever happens, I'll still be looking up at Cayley with awe. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, I definitely did working on this video, and if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you shared it with your friends.